Hey guys, it's Poxbro. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing another Atomic Shop weekly update for November 24th to December 1st. And let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first things first, we have Black Friday hunt deals and we have a barrel cactus set. I'm just going to be looking like this. And it is 500 atoms. We have the Ranger bundle, which is going to be on sale. And this includes the red rocket power uh the red rocket ranger power armor paint i was gonna say power ranger <laughs> the red rocket jetpack the red rocket power armor station so pretty much you get the armor the jetpack and the power armor station and this is a skin for the excavator raider t45 t51 t60 ultra sight and x01 and this is a better picture of the power armor itself and this is the power armor stand and i'm guessing that's kind of what the jetpack looks like and then we have the Mothman Traveler bundle, which is going to be on sale for 960 atoms. You get a Mothman plushie backpack, a Mothman gas mask, a Mothman jetpack, two Mothman themed wallpapers, and the Mothman cultist icon. This is the icon. Uh, we have the gas mask. We have the backpack. The backpack skins can be applied to both small and standard backpack as a mod. And this is the Mothman jetpack. And I think these are like some of the wallpapers. And yeah. And then we have the Hotter Rod Bundle, which is going to be for Power Armor. We get a paint for T45, T51, T60, X01 Power Armors. We also get it for the Power Armor Station and Pip-Boy. Um, but keep in mind that for the Station Paint, you do need the Power Armor Station plan to be learned. And you can actually do that pretty easily. If you have Excavator Power Armor plans, you probably already have the uh, Station plan. Then you have the Red Rocket Garage, which is actually a really cool garage. So honestly, I might pick this up for 250 atoms. Um, pretty much you get a garage that will be a good place to store your tools, power armor, and arsenal for high-powered weapons. Um, includes the Red Rocket Garage structure and the Red Rocket door and the garage door. But yeah, and this is what the interior kind of looks like. And then we have the uh, CD Shed. Oh, it's kind of cool. They're getting us a lot of structures. Um... Uh, but yeah, this is what the CD Shed looks like. CD Shed door is included and built separately, so you'll be able to get the door, but you'll just have to place it uh, as a separate piece. And this is what it looks like from the front side. It has like a concrete base, the door, and then the rest of it. I think I might actually opt in for the CD Shed versus the Red Rocket Garage, because I feel like I can make a garage using the garage door and like brick walls, and the Red Rocket theme doesn't really fit my camp but the CD Shed could fit my camp. But then you also have the Communist Bunker. Oh man, I might not have enough atoms this month. We also have the Iron Hero of the Great War statue, which is gonna be looking like this. It's pretty much a tank. And it looks like if you activate it, it fires maybe. Pretty cool. And then we have the Communist Bunker. Shield yourself from the horrors of capitalism and nuclear blast with this Communist Bunker for your camp. Communist Bunker Door is included and built separately, so it's similar, where the door will have to be um, placed as a separate item. And then we have the Steel backwood, uh, Backwoods Bungalow, and this is also on sale for 350 Atoms, and this is what it's going to look like. There's a little glass window, there's a doorway. This is pretty nice looking. Um, but here we have the Deep Cave for the next section. We have the Deep Cave Bundle. This was here last week, so I'm not going to go over it too much, um, but pretty much we have a Deep Cave Bundle with a Deep Cave Hunter outfit, the backpack. The bow, the Pip Boy skin, we have the Minot Lunch Pail, a Punch Bowl, Lunch Box, and Gift, uh, Gift, Give, Gift emote. And then we have the Military Defense. This was also here last week. You pretty much get a broken ship that you can place as part of your camp. You get a bridge, some encampment fences, some concrete defenses, and a camo utility cap. Um, on to Thanksgiving Feast. Um, I believe this was also. Some of this stuff is new, some of it's not or familiar. Um, but Wasteland Trapper outfit right here. We have this outfit. Environmental hazards are not your concern with this Wastelander Trapper outfit. Looks like there's a gas mask mixed in, so I'm guessing you can't get airborne diseases. And then we have the Enclave bundle. So the Enclave Power Armor is back in store. This includes the Ex Enclave Power Armor paint, Enclave Jetpack, Enclave Military Brett, the Enclave Pit Boy skin, and the Enclave Power Armor station. And then we have the Grognok Hero Bundle. I believe this was here last week. And all of these Thanksgiving items are also here last week. So I'm not going to go over them too much. Um, and then we have the Fallout First members only. We have the Western Bar Bundle. So this was in the shop before, but now I guess it's coming back, but only for the Fallout First members. Um, this includes Tipsy Tom, which is pretty much a vendor bot. 
Um, then you have a Western bar module set, which you can build this bar out of. You got some Western bar stools, such as this. You have three wall-mounted fish. You have three standing fish right there. And then you have the fox weather vane, the rooster weather vane, and the goat weather vane. And then you have a windmill ceiling fan, and then the wooden saloon door. They don't showcase the wooden saloon door, but it's like a pretty standard looking western door where it's just like two halves that like fly open and it doesn't like fill the full length of it. Um, then we have the down home comfort bundle and this is going to be including some other things such as the laser light duck shooting gallery which is going to be right here. The deer head gun rack which is going to be right here. I've actually seen this in a couple camps. It looks very nice um, for a weapon display. Then we have the jackalope gun rack, the horseshoe gun rack, and then we have a beer barrel fridge, which is this one right here. And then we have a hamlock, and then we have brown hounds reclining sofa chairs, and a green hounds reclining sofa chair. And then we have a powered flam uh, lawn flamingo, this guy right here, and then a buckaroo lamp. All of that for 1500 atoms. And then our last bundle in the Fallout First members only is going to be the Greylock uh, villain bundle for 1200 atoms. You get the Greylock throne, the outfit, the sorcerer's staff, the photo mode frame, the icon, and the crackle emotes. So this is the outfit with the staff. This is the icon. We have the throne in the photo mode one. And this is kind of everything together. For free and special offers, we have a black suit. I'll take it. I'll take it. Looks pretty nice. Nice little suit there. And then for the second item, we have Responder Power Armor Paint. Wow, this looks nice. Um, this is like a better close-up of it, and this is what the lights look like at night. Very nice looking power armor skin, I gotta say. Um, but it is 1,200 atoms. Um, our next one is gonna be a fancy bar set, which is gonna be right here. This is only 140 atoms, and you get these bar tables, you get these nice round looking tables, and then these chair sets. It looks like you also get some sort of like menu sort of thing. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I went ahead and checked the Bethesda website, but they have not yet released the Atomic Shop Weekly update. I'm not going to be able to check if they have any staggered releases at the time of making this video. Um, I'll go ahead and update the video's description. As time goes on, I'll kind of check back to see if they do upload it. That way I can at least link it. But uh, otherwise, yeah, the description is going to be a little bit less detail just because they don't i don't have the website to kind of use to uh, fill in the description for you guys but yeah if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know in the comment section below if you have any positive or negative feedback also let me know that way i can improve but otherwise until next time Oh, before you go, I actually wanted to remind you guys or to mention that the Hunt for the Treasure Hunter event is live right now until November 30th. So go out there and get yourself some treasure hunting loot. 